In rental karting, not all carts are the same. What would you do if you ended up with a slow cart? You could try bump drafting. Bump drafting is when the lead driver breaks the air, which creates a vacuum effect for the driver following behind. And as they get sucked in, they'll reach higher top speeds. And in return, they'll be pushing the lead driver along the straights. If the driver in front does this, it means let's work together. The driver who is heavier or has a slower cart should be in front, so you can bump draft them along the straights. Working together is one of the most fun and effective ways to clear lap traffic, because the driver in front will dictate the overtake, and it's your responsibility to follow closely behind so both of you can overtake the lap cart in one corner, and this way you lose as little time as possible. Bump drafting can also be an effective tactic to use in a proper race, and this is where you'd be working together with another driver, staying on a fixed racing line, as opposed to battling and impeding each other, and in the long run, over the course of a race, you'll actually extend the gap to the drivers behind. To test the bump draft theory, I took the slowest cart at my go-kart track, and I did half of the session with bump drafting, and the other half without. So starting both laps, we're heading down to the first corner. I've already got a handy bump draft from Ahmed in the yellow helmet behind me. He's pushing me all throughout turns one, two, three, heading up to turn four now. We'll just take a quick look at the gaps and you can see it's about two cart lengths already that we've pulled ahead within the first four corners. Ahmed's gonna stick right on my bumper and push me all the way up to turn seven, which is going to extend my advantage even further as we get to the turning point. We're about two and a half cart lengths ahead now. This is the fast left-right section, and let's keep an eye out on cart 21, Ahmed's cart, which has superior acceleration, superior straight line speed. That's gonna give me a bump draft all the way down the back straight. And as we hit our breaking point for the hairpin turn, you can clearly see the advantage is well over a second now. And that is impressive considering it's only been half a lap. As we negotiate the technical part of the track now through the second hairpin turn, Ahmed wasn't able to get as close to my bump on this occasion, so maybe a bit of time left on the table, but approaching the final sector now, you'll be able to see the gap has come down ever so slightly as we hit our apex point for the right-hander. But don't worry, this is the final sweeping section of the track where Ahmed is actually gonna get close to me now. We'll switch to the back angle. He's setting up his line to get as close to me as we exit the final two corners now. I'm gonna signal to him, tap on my helmet to give me one last bump draft all the way up to the finish line, and it's a long run up the hill so I'm gonna gain even more time over the lap where I was not bump drafting and let's see what the final lap times were a 1 minute 6.958 for the bump draft lap and a 1 minute 8.819 second lap time for the lap without bump drafting nearly a two second difference now it's interesting to observe all of our laps from the session I got my fastest laps in the first five laps whilst being bump drafted Whereas Ahmed, on the other hand, during his first five laps, was consistently more than two seconds slower than his full potential, which he eventually went on to show in the second half of the session. And once he cleared the lap traffic, he was able to put in a fastest lap of one minute 4.6 seconds. And that proves, even if you have a slower cart, you still need a nice friend who's going to sacrifice laps and help bump draft you to a faster lap time. Let me know in the comment section down below if you've tried bump drafting at your track and which scenario did you use it in. If you did enjoy today's video, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe. But until the next video guys, keep karting and carry on.